Definitely, UPI is something which is considered to be one of the biggest contributions of India to the world economy or to the world interface. And in fact, a simple phone is something which can be used extensively to make the payments. Now, if you go by the latest revelation and the studies which have come in from an RBI economist, it talks about a huge rise as far as the UPI transactions are concerned. It also talks about a massive reduction as far as the cash transactions are concerned. Before I start explaining the backdrop, what it really means is, and what is that indicator? That's the important point. First, the figures that, especially in the post-COVID areas, there has been a rise as far as the UPI transactions or the popularity of the UPI is concerned. What we are being told that as of March 2024, it has increased by 40 to 48 percent. That's a huge landmark. As we know that India is a cash-dependent economy, traditionally it has been, especially in rural areas and in small towns where every transaction was made through a currency. There was a reticence and reluctance on the part of many people to go in through a phone to make the UPI transactions. All of this began to change, especially in the post-COVID area. When there was lockdown across the country, where there was movements which were restricted, when after the demonetization of 2016, the number of uh, currencies also started falling down. And that is when people started looking at alternatives into carrying on their transactions. Merely using a debit card or credit card was not the option. In smaller towns and in villages, UPI began extremely popular, began to become extremely popular, and that became an alternative which people began to look at. What does it really mean in terms of economic stature or economic changes? It means that more and more people have the confidence of using the digital space and le less and less dependence as far as the currency or the cash notes are concerned. It also makes them more mobile. It also makes the transactions very transparent. In fact, one of the main reasons why the government has been encouraging UPI transaction payments is also to make the entire procedure cashless, cut down on black money, and also make the entire process extremely transparent. And that is why those figures are considered to be very, very encouraging as far as the government or the finance ministry and the RBI is concerned. Where there are important cash usage indicators or the CUI as it's called. The cash usage indicator or the CUI indicates the changes in the economic transaction pattern. That CUI seems to be suggesting, as I just pointed out, the minimal of fall in the usage of cash in terms of transaction and an increasing usage of digital footprints. In fact, India's contribution to the world has extended and UPI transactions are accepted in many countries like Sri Lanka and Malaysia as well. Not just this, other developed countries like Japan, like Germany, are also extremely impressed by this whole idea of UPI and they have been talking about it. They have taken to social media platforms to laud the Indian government and the Prime Minister to make the point that UPI makes it so handy, it is so easy to use. You do not have to carry your wallet anymore. If you have a cell phone in your hand, any type of payment can be made at any point of time. Many countries like Malaysia, Sri Lanka, are also Maldives for that matter or Bhutan, they have begun to imitate India in terms of making their economies UPI friendly. That is seen to be as a long step ahead as far as usage is concerned, bringing down the dependence on currency and third of course and the most important is transparent transactions. That many argue is India's gift as far as to the world regarding the UPI is concerned. And the fact that there has been a more than 40 to 48 percent of increase in the UPI transactions since March 2024 is a story in itself.